So this is an HP ProBook 440G10. I bought it the ba with the base package of uh, one stick of RAM. And it happens to be uh, DDR4, so I upgraded it to two. And then I also got it with the 256GB uh, NVMe drive, which happens to be a Samsung one, but it's the value one, meaning there's no DRAM cache. And it went in here. And then I noticed a bit of a problem because when I uh, was going to buy it, it said you could expand it with a 2230 drive or uh, they call it a WWAN drive. And then with that, you could um, you could use a SIM card basically and get storage. But um, so I opted to not do it because I already had a drive lying around. Problem was that this 2230 drive, uh, which is exactly the right size doesn't have the right piece, which uh, the piece does show up in the manual. So it's quite misleading from HP and it's hard to find. You might be able to fit a 2242 uh, drive in here instead and use this standoff, but the 2230 doesn't have one. So I bought this from AliExpress, which is going to extend my 2230 drive to 2280. And I'll use this a terabyte drive, which came with my Dell computer. It's a WD-SN530. Also no DRAM cache, but it's a terabyte. So it's a bit of an upgrade. I did a clone of the drive, and we'll see if it works. And I'll put it in. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this for a laptop because uh, kind of if you carry it around in your bag and whatever, it could get dislodged. But uh, I'll uh, I'll leave um, I'll leave another video maybe or in the comments I'll mention how it's gonna be like after six months to a year, and we'll see if it if it was worth it. So here I'm installing the 2230 M.2 drive as a 2280 in a laptop because uh, HP screwed me over. And let's see if it'll work. I disabled BitLocker and I'm gonna see if I need to disable Secure Boot for this to work because I did a clone of the drive. I will close up the case and do a check.